gladiators, wild animals, Roman arches, violence and gore. You guessed it, today we are visiting the Colosseum. to our Guide to Rome series. I'm Tatiana from the Roman Food Tour and in this episode we will give you the perfect formula for having the best time when visiting Rome's most famous amphitheatre. Keep watching to learn how to get to the Colosseum, the best time to visit, what kind of tickets to buy and how, what to see and do nearby and of course where to go for mouth-watering food. Before we get started, don't miss the links in the description box for lots more tips, recommendations and advice on navigating the city of Rome. Today we will start by exploring the Colosseum itself. Then we will head over to and explore the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill. Afterwards we will head over to Trattoria Luzzi to enjoy some classic Roman food. Known as the Flavian Amphitheatre, Rome's most iconic monument and one of the country's most important and popular tourist attractions, the Colosseum is a stunning example of ancient Roman engineering and a window into the city's rich and intriguing past. Located in the heart of the city centre, it is easily accessible by foot, bus or metro. Metro Line B and buses 40, 51, 60, 75, 81, 175 and 204 will all take you to Colosseo, which is the closest stop located directly outside the Colosseum. With over 7 million visitors per year, the crowds at the Colosseum can feel daunting and the long queues off-putting. On busy days, waiting times to enter the stadium can exceed two to three hours. So here are a few crucial tips to guarantee you a smoother and more enjoyable experience. Number one, timing is crucial. As with all major tourist sites in Rome, the earlier you go, the less people there will be. The Colosseum opens at 8.30 a.m. every day, so make sure to arrive just before or close to that time. Also bear in mind that on Sundays, the Vatican museums are closed, so the Colosseum is likely to be even busier than normal. Number two, book your tickets way ahead of time using the official Colosseum website, which is called Coop Culture. You will notice there are many different tours and ticket options, so take your time evaluating which one is best for you. The standard ticket, which costs 16 euro, is a three-way combined ticket which also allows access to the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill within 24 hours of activation. However, it will only grant you access to the first and second floors of the Colosseum and not to the arena, underground level or upper floors. You will need a different ticket to gain access to those parts. We recommend joining a skip the line guided tour in order to save time and get the most out of your visit. I promise that hearing stories of gladiatorial battles, naval battles and brutal fights between men and wild animals will bring the monument and the experience to life. Number three, come prepared. You will be spending a lot of hours outdoors in very high temperatures. So make sure to bring some water, wear some SPF and maybe bring a hat. Have fun and soak it all in. The Colosseum is a monumental structure and wandering around its interior will send shivers down your spine and make you feel like a gladiator. Once you're done seeing the Colosseum, take your time exploring the Roman Forum. What used to 
to be the political, religious and social epicentre of ancient Rome and the Palatine Hill, where you can admire the remains of palaces and former homes of ancient Roman emperors. Here are some highlights to look out for. With Rome's heat, make sure to find a moment to find a tranquil and shady setting to take a breather and admire the stunning views. If you're looking for a more casual dining experience, we recommend Trattoria Luzzi. This cozy venue offers all the Roman classics, including Roman-style pizza. But for today, we want to focus on a very particular dish of this city, which is especially famous during the springtime. Artichoke done two ways. The Roman way, which is what we call carciofo alla romana. This is when they take the artichoke flour and they boil it with oil and herbs, transforming it into a very tender delicacy. Or the Jewish way, which is known as carciofo alla giudia. This is when they deep fry the artichoke flour. It's heavenly. And this is what originated in the Jewish community of Rome. But don't worry, we'll do another video on the Jewish quarter of Rome. There's so much to see and do there. But for now, it's time to dive in. And we're gonna start with some white wine. Cheers. Salute. For more recommendations on where to eat near the Colosseum, head over to our website and check out our blog posts. And to sample some of the very best food that Rome has to offer, Join us on one of our award-winning food and wine tours or cooking classes here in Rome. You'll find the link in the description box below. And that brings us to the end of our guide to the Colosseum. What are you most excited to see or eat here? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our other Guide to Rome videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Arrivederci!